Hi guys, Jose here from GR Visuals and today we're going to review this amazing plugin uh, Cinema Grade uh, available for Adobe Premiere, Final Cut Pro X and DaVinci Resolve uh, we're going to do it in Final Cut Pro we're going to go through its main features so let's go here you have some clips in the timeline uh, these are clips uh, shot with the GH5 in Vlog Let's go directly. First, it's a super nice app in the sense that you can do everything here and you, you will have your footage ready to go. Uh, you have uh, three different phases of editing, which makes all the workflow, all the process um, so straightforward. So you don't have to think uh, about what you're going to do because it's you have to follow these steps, you know, so it's like uh, putting you on the road directly. So you have to think less and be more intuitive uh, with your grading. So you have this waveform, the vector scope and the histogram. Um, you can change, you know, you have the base correction, the shot matching and the final grading. And um, it basically works like opening here you'll see that you can do everything like um, about light exposure highlights mid-tone shadows etc in color you can do everything auto white balance saturation and then vectors that is like secondary grading with different colors it's nice to have it here like uh, in Lightroom or Premiere color but the main point here is this awesome feature that the plugin has that it's doing the things visually like this for example for light we're going to go for exposure for example you drag here and go down go up and you change directly on the screen this is nice because you can do for example only shadows clicking for example in, in, in a shadow area and then you go down and then you only change the shadows which is awesome it's like the program does the selection for you super visual you know same thing with uh, highlights here imagine you click here you go up your with your highlights and then maybe uh, mid-tones here you put another point you drag down and it's so easy that's awesome because sometimes uh, when you don't want to to go super deep into like resolve or let's say for masks or for specific uh, grading and super advanced grading and you want to have something super professional in a few steps this app really does the job another interesting feature here is this the vectors because here you can select specifically some color and change the hue that's awesome you can press shift and change the saturation and you can adjust the luma with the command here in Apple Imagine that you're happy now with your your base correction here. You can go again to the shadows. Take it darker. Or maybe you don't want to crush a lot. You want to go down with the mid-tones. Or you want to adjust the contrast directly. The overall saturation, for example, in your image. Or imagine that you want your shadows to be more desaturated. 
So you put a point in your shadows and you desaturate only the shadows. So if you want to start with the LAT uh, in your base correction, you can apply it here too in this menu. Here you have your input LAT. You can import here and do your folder with your favorite uh, LATs. And you can choose the camera, you know, the if it's a slog or vlog or whatever camera you're using. And uh, you can you have even this uh, color chart option, but we haven't tested it yet. It looks super interesting because it, it makes your life easier to match every color from different cameras uh, if you are shooting with different cameras in some occasion. And then you can go to the final grading and apply a lot here. Let's go for some of our LUTs. Or let's go to some film stock like Fuji Pro. Except you have a nice LUT. In your image you can go back to base correction and do changes you know but here in the final grade you can do the same thing that you can do in the base correction you can put even film grain you can make the lat not so aggressive like dialing down in the mix you can change everything the exposure highlights midtone shadows same or even you can do this this way the way I show you before these adjustments you know here is more graphical and more fun to do you apply the result let it play it back super nice and clean super easy Another nice point is that you have a super nice option here to see false color and to see where is everything. So you can change if anything is overexposed and you, you don't want it overexposed, you can take it down till it's in the level that you want. And even for the shadow areas, you can take it up. It's an easy way to see the false color and where everything is falling on your histogram. And you have another super nice option here. That's the second step that is matching shots from your grade. So if you have a sequence, you can select your hero shot. That is the source grade for all of them. And you can select the other ones. And match your shots the same with this one copy correction apply and with this one copy and apply you can apply to group here but applying everything all grades yeah apply changes and then you go to your timeline and everything is in a good starting point to to continue your grade or if you have done your work on set everything will be balanced so it's super nice just to review the plugin you start by your base correction where you have here all your controls super easy super nice super visual and super fast that's what I, I love from this uh, plugin it's super visual and super intuitive and super fast if you don't have to go to complicated grades or masking or another you know advanced techniques this is a super nice plugin to incorporate to your arsenal because you can do everything inside it and everything can be done directly on the image which is awesome and maybe it won't replace your you know more advanced uh, grading suits like uh, resolve but for 
for your everyday job this is a perfect plugin we love it we want to continue using it and comparing it to the other apps that we normally use and let's see we will share with you our insights about it so if you like it you can get cinema grade basic for just 69 dollars and you'll find our affiliate link in the description and uh, yeah if you like uh, please like and subscribe and see you next week